I literally look like trash, but I thought I'd do a ballet core type of type of beat. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting some pictures. I'm trying to take some pictures today with like um ballet core theme. Uh, and follow me on TikTok. This is probably not really how the aesthetic is, but also I hate aesthetics, but also I'm following an aesthetic. Like not to the T, but just like I guess elements of it. I'm literally concealing my whole face because I got four hours of sleep because I'm a man, but we're not gonna talk about it. Um, I have so much discoloration because I was crying the whole thing. Uh, I need to see my therapist on Thursday for sure. My YouTube channel is growing and I'm really proud of myself, but it's so hard for me to control myself and not not like, like snap back at comments that are like super snarky like i posted a tiktok on shorts like um there's like this trend on tiktok that's like can whoever whoever is writing my season can you like please start making my character develop and literally people are just like you're not the main character you're just a side character lol no and i'm like oh my god like people are so like i don't know like what that's about oh my god like people are so quick to like put down other people like it was literally just like a harmless tiktok and i was just like it's just a joke it was literally just a joke and people get so offended for no reason but like if i was pretty and if i was a white girl doing this i probably would get as much like i don't even want to call it hate because it sounds so tacky but like you know and it's just like it's so discouraging because it's like if i was like conventionally pretty my life would be probably still difficult but like things like that wouldn't be as difficult like i'm sure i'll still have like juggles and stuff like that but just like how people perceive me like i'd be so much more accepted no one would even bat an eye and i'd be like off the hook for like everything i'm just living my life and it's so hard for me to like not snap back and say something like super snarky because sometimes i do and i can't like i posted like today literally this morning it was like getting views like my sh my reels my reels i'm getting confused with all the tiktok knockoffs my shorts on youtube have been doing well like con well for me they've been getting like 1.k views and stuff like that and i'm trying to do that more because that's how i like get more subscribers i posted like a way it's like another tiktok trend i did was like it's like an audio like how i feel about these things with little to no explanation and someone just had to put nobody cares and so then i was so mad as like, about you and i was like oh my god i'm just gonna delete this i just delete all like the main comments that i get because like it's my youtube channel and like i can like choose like what's on my channel and what's not and i don't want it to be like so so negative all the time but it's like oh my god like people literally have something stuck up their ass like why are you being like you took time out of your day to breathe and to type on that little phone or computer of yours just to say nobody cares like i think it definitely takes a certain kind of person to be on social media and stuff but like i never get a a break like ever me expecting like human decency i'm just expected to be bullied this i've just always been like it's just always been like instilled in me that i'm always gonna be bullied because of how i look how i sing how i talk everyone treats me differently and it's so frustrating and i'm sorry that this turned into like a rant but i promise there's a there's a look to this okay i'm concealing my eyebrows because i'm trying to make them invisible like social media literally like killed what was left of my mental health but i still love making videos and i love singing and i love posting stuff and i'm trying not to let people like get me down and like if you're like a creative too and you're like experiencing the same thing like it sucks but like i'm still gonna do it i was thinking about what lip shade to do i kind of want to do this one just because i feel like this was more ballet but then i also really love this color so but this one's matte and this one's more i'm gonna use this one i feel like ballet girls very like natural makeup i feel like but i don't do natural makeup and i wanted to do something kind of weird for the photo shoot and i'm doing another photo shoot this friday so, oh this is not the color i wanted but like it will have to work like i like my makeup very weird i guess i'll just take it around i kind of don't like how high it's going don't scream at me oh just using this brown that i literally never use i've been experimenting with different colors recently what i was saying earlier about how i don't like aesthetics even though like i do like aesthetic themed videos so like specific aesthetic i don't like it when it's like i feel like i need to like follow it to like a t because i was like that for like a while while i refused to wear anything that wasn't pink like my whole 
Peractor was only pink and I was like obsessed of only having pink colors and everyone kind of knows me for wearing like pastel colors I'm trying to change that just to like an overall like style I guess it's like me and not really an aesthetic because I don't like as much as I like admire aesthetics and like I pull from some of them I feel like our generation's super obsessed with aesthetics should I make a video about that talking about aesthetic mm, it looks like it kind of got socked in the eye but also it's very weird and strange I don't know how to do makeup so don't even come after me <sighs> that didn't work the way I wanted it to I'm trying to save it this is literally the most tedious part for me because I can never get it right but we're gonna try I try not to like focus on like the negative things that happen especially that has to do mostly with social media there are a lot of people that support me and like i just forget sometimes but it's so hard like i literally can have like 50 people like telling me like you like what i do but then it just takes like one person just to like ruin it sucks because like it's just like one person but then like again like one person can make such a big difference the, the 730 subscribers that i have here now i never would have thought and like youtube has helped me so much despite like the negative aspects of it but just me like creating doing things that i love like makeup and like making music and stuff like talking about things that i'm like interested and passionate about i just want to say thank you to everyone especially by day one i have like subscribed to me when i first started making covers on this channel like when i get like really supportive comments like saying like oh my god like keep it up like your videos are so good or this singing comforts you and it's like so good enough for me that just even like one person like appreciates like my art and like um i think this is the eye look i'm gonna put on my lashes and then i'm gonna show you guys um, the outfit that I have. Alright, so I'm in my outfit. I look crusty. I need to do the lighter color instead of the other one. And got it. Inside. I got these from the store. They're like, um, sheer tights. And I don't know what size they are, but they're from Japanese. And they kind of look like retro. So, I live for They usually have like pink tights or something. I don't really see like but it's a large, so I think it should fit. So this is what it looks like. I think it's really cute. The skirt's a little small. These don't fit, so guys. Not as shed anything. And there's like three layers. Of course, candles and like cords is usually where like the hard part. I don't know where I went. I can't find them. I used to do both. And I bought these leg warmers that literally took three months from Etsy. I found them at the lake here, so we can do the shoot and stuff. And I'll probably put my hair in pigtails or try to do buttons. Very dirty buffaloes, but those are really the only matches I have. So we're gonna do that. And do my hair real quick. And we're gonna go get Curry and Duncan and try to find a better shoe place. So, see so you soon. What the fuck is this? Did I get coffee out there? Oops, I turned. Okay, we get the, the beef bowl. Beef bowl with real ginger. I hope there's rice in there. I think so. Wait, does it say there's rice in there? Oh, it's so cold in here. Woo, woo. Fit check. Fit check. Fit check. <laughs> Ooh. We have this, the dongle. That goes in there. Do you want one? Sure. Yummy! Yay! Let's go look around. Oh. You guys have to try this, what is it called? The peanut butter macchiato before it runs out of Duncan. Sponsor me, Duncan! It's Halloween and it looks more orange when I first make it, but then we mix it and it really tastes. Oh, it's so cold in here. I look like a fucking ghost. Yes, we're in the ramen section. It's like creamy, huh? The tonkatsu? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Bye. We ran into my dad. <laughs> I was like, you can use kind of wavy too. <laughs> I was like, Japanese graphic, right? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Show 
always sleep in the swimming powers like the sheep and serpents drunk off the feeling of power scheming and stealing got a shell that's protected if i swim alone it's the best thing my aura's been through for nothing i don't need to impress you my value's too high you think you can afford it when your water's so dry and you're lacking abundance not talking about your pockets yeah your wallet means nothing